Now, the reality is we're talking about these guys. They are absolute freaks of athletic nature. I've compared them before. We just had the uh, Victoria's Secret fashion show. I said before, NBA players. Oh, you missed it. I didn't miss it. CBS, they had the Charlie Brown special and then the Victoria's Secret fashion show. Right after it? Yeah. Close to it. That was a, it was a great special. They had Jay Z, they had uh, Kanye West, they had uh, what's his name from that Maroon Five band, Adam, uh, Adam you, Levine. You text Brian, you to text me. Well, I didn't know. No, He's I watched. He said it. I watched it with my wife. I was wondering what percentage of I think more women watch the Victoria's Secret fashion show than men. Oh, I don't know. Well, you should text me next time. I'll text you next I want time to see the wings. The wings. I texted during the fashion show. The Victoria's Secret women are the equivalent of NBA lottery picks. In that, for this exact reason, this is 100% true. Please explain This is 100% true. Please Both are physical freaks of nature. No, why are they the ladies freaks of nature? Because how many women who are six foot are, first of all, attractive? By and large. You oh, get, and this goes against your deal, too. Oh, here They're we go. They're six feet tall. They got big feet and big hands. That's not my thing. <laughs> That's what you said. You right. are not dating. I'm not a, bi- a big foot woman, not for me. <laughs> hey, but, they do. Or big hands. They do. They're big. What They're percentage big. of women <laughs> who are over, be honest, what percentage of women who are over like 5'10 or 5'11 are, one, attractive, two, look feminine, like don't look masculine, like you don't look at them and think, That's some big hips. <laughs> like, Three. Well, these mostly ladies are thin. That's what I'm saying. I uh, doesn't have anything to do with all of that. <laughs> Don't know what's going to happen here. The, oh, yeah. Then you throw in, how can you be thin and have massive boobs? It doesn't make well, sense. A lot of them have eating disorders and plastic oh, surgery. Come on, yeah, yeah, bring up the whole thing. Think, we know that's I true. Think, I don't think that the plastic surgery thing is actually that common with twenty-something models like you this. You are out of your mind. No, I don't think it is. I'm telling you, they, so they are physical freaks because it's so rare. How can you have no fat on your body and huge fat boobs? It makes I, no I sense. I just told you how. No, a lot of them don't. A lot of it's natural. Just like I, I don't know. Just like for NBA athletes, you cannot be six foot eight and insanely athletic. They just don't. They just don't make very many of those people. First of all, there's hardly anybody who's taller than six six. They men who are over six six. If you're walking in a mall and you see a guy over six six, you're like, damn, that's a tall guy. When you see Michael Jordan or Kobe Bryant come on like the Tonight Show and stand next to Jay Leno, you're like, these guys are freaks. You watch them on television and they look small relative to like the seven foot guys. Yeah. Then you throw in, like, how many people in the history of man have had Dwight Howard's physical athletic ability? Do you think back in, like, 1640, there were Dwight Howards walking around 6 foot 11? 1640. Whatever year. Hardly ever. These guys are a whole bunch of them. These guys are complete (laughs) freaks. I said earlier, I said this before, Shaquille O'Neal might be the biggest freak athlete in the history of mankind. You don't think there were any, like, 6'6 six, six guys in the Roman Empire? 6'6 six, six was huge. Think about, like, Abraham Lincoln is one of our tallest yeah, presidents. Got some other guys. He was a giant. He was 6'4". Nobody existed of these heights. They were lobbing off a bunch of heads back so, then, too. It'd probably be dangerous bring to Bring it all six, back six. around circularly here. He's back about the Victoria's Secret. They are every bit as physical freaks for women as NBA athletes are for men. That is, they just don't exist. In a, in a large you scale. You a lot population. of time thinking about really strange things. I love to see him and his wife sitting there watching us having this conversation. She agreed. She was like, you're right. You know what? Now, she said, some of the women don't really have big boobs. You just get distracted because they have perfect bras. That's what Victoria's <laughs> Secret does, right? That, that came from your wife's side. Dude. Yeah, you I didn't was say like, that. oh, you know what? You know, this, this actually is a good point. She's like, you know, some of these women, they're just average-sized women in, in the boob department, but they have the perfect bra, which is why Victoria's Secret's a billion-dollar company, because they can uh-huh. confuse us. The simple-minded men, I'm like, oh, this woman's got unbelievable boobs. Nope, not really. David at Hopkinsville. Hey, David. Hey, uh, uh, so apparently Clay hates all Kentuckians for... Kentucky basketball and women over six foot tall. No, I don't hate them. I'm just saying a big footed woman is not my cup of tea. No, I, even if they're Victoria's Secret model. I just don't like big feet. I'm sorry. I dated a girl who was six foot four. Oh, and she was actually taller than me. And I am six foot one on a good day. And uh, she was quite beautiful. She did have big hands, though. She played basketball for uh, UT, I don't know, for a year or so after she we got out of high school. I don't know if she was successful past that, but, you know, she was quite beautiful. One of the few 
I'd like to agree on your point, though. You gonna you gonna name names, David? Uh, her name was Sarah. It's rare. Uh, Be honest. If you see right, a woman you, and she's over six feet tall, it's rare you see a woman over six feet and you think I would like to date her because a lot of times they're bigger than you. I don't know. Candace Park. She is gorgeous. She is a real. She is another mm-hmm. freak of athletic nature as well as freak of attractiveness. Seven three seven one zero four five eight six six four nine two seven. I got to take Gary first. Hey Gary, what's up? You have lost your mind if you think that these girls haven't had surgery to improve their looks. Tell me that you're a doctor, <laughs> please, Gary. I'm, I'm going from past experience here. First of all, you know my wife, beautiful woman. By the way, she's only uh, five five and has size. Eight. Is that too big? Eight. Five, 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 size eight shoe? Yeah. That's I don't actually know what women's shoes are. Like, I wear an 11. What would that be in a woman's shoe? If a woman has some women's shoes like three weeks ago. A women's shoe would be about a 14. Okay, if a woman wears a size 14 foot, it's too big for me. I would just be like, no, right, I mean, right, I'm going to date somebody saying, else. But, but, you know, as far as sizes go, an eight is pretty big for a woman. But anyway, mm-hmm. to, 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 to get beyond that fact, uh, now, first of all, you're saying that these girls haven't had surgery. I have got a daughter that's 5'11", beautiful. She's only 16. Looked at modeling, and they started telling her she needed to work on improving her figure as far as surgery. They have 16-year-olds getting surgery? I don't think it's that common. Is it, if it, maybe it is. I think it is. I think it is. You think yeah. that every yeah. what percentage of Victoria's Secret? Okay. I'm just saying. Yeah. I mean, what percentage? You want to talk about a competitive trying to be industry? Model. Yeah. What, what percentage, models, what yeah. percentage of Victoria's Secret supermodels have had plastic surgery? In your opinion, ninety ninety percent. Ninety percent. What do you I'm think? I'm eighty. I'm eighty. If Where that's true, like I'm very 40? disappointed. I think that's the equivalent of using steroids. <laughs> well, that is. I mean, that's, that's performance enhancing. That, that yeah. is true. But there's no rules that you can't. Well, I did. It, it influences my appreciation for the Victoria's Secret supermodel show if I'm knowing that they're all juicing. 737-1045. Lots of Twitter messages streaming in about uh, Clay's the ridiculous... <laughs> No. Belief that uh, Victoria's Secret models do not enhance themselves. Well, if they do, then they, we need a congressional investigation. I, I yeah, clean it's up. legal. We need to clean up. Uh, Why is there no outrage for that? Like there is steroids in baseball. It's juicing. I'm relying on the fact, look. Performance and anti yeah. drugs. Lots of messages. Can we draft these models to our LFL team? Hashtag 3 <laughs> uh, Clay is crazy. Those women, those women do have surgery and starve themselves. They are not born that way. 90% have surgery. Well, this, being born that way. First of all, they are thin, and then they're over six feet, and they're attractive. Their faces are attractive. What I'm saying is that's rare. Women over six feet is a tiny percentage of the overall population. Clay's a funny dude living in a dream world. Um, well, that's, that's probably me. true. This is from a female listener. I'm five five and a half, wear a size eight shoe. I don't buy any stretch. I have big feet. By the way, number's probably 87%, she says. It's between you and Blaine's number. <laughs> then I feel like the naturals are getting screwed here. That's in bolts. Great debate on Victoria's Secret models have plastic surgery. It's like steroids in athletics. Exactly like it. Sports talk radio shows should have more talk about Victoria's Secret models. You guys need a plastic surgery to come on do an analysis. If I, if I had surgery on my voice, would that be enhancing? Yeah. yeah. It'd be juicing. Charlotte on a cell wants to contribute. Hey, Charlotte. Yes. I just wanted to say you guys need to turn in your man card because you don't know the difference between... Natural breast and surgically enhanced breast. Well, we only know if you touch. <laughs> no, 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 no. I By the way, the Victoria's Secret needs a tester. I will volunteer. I'll throw on that. I'll fall Are on we that. Really sword. having this conversation on the radio. Charlotte brought it up. She's ridiculing us. Natural breasts don't come round and sit like balls on your chest. Come on, guys. You know, I, I pick bras for a living. I could pick them out walking down the street. You want to go with me sometime? I'll let you pick you out. Hey, stay on the air, Charlotte. Way. I'll give you my phone number. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Good call, That's what we Sam. need, a, a boob expert for 3HL. This was We we had a tremendous okay. meeting today about like what was going to happen on the show. This was not on the list. No, it, it, it's never on the list. I didn't know. They are. They're the, they're the, but I didn't know they were juicing, man. This is a big deal. I'm really, I'm not kidding. I thought. I'll kick the coverage. It's going to be all over this. I thought that. Travesty. I thought that, that there was, a, that they were natural. I thought that was one of the deals with Victoria's Secret. These are natural women. Well, please write an article about that. Yeah. Go investigate. Giselle, Tom Brady's. Imagine, okay, they're, they're a dream couple, right? If Giselle is juicing, if she's got fake boobs, imagine if Tom Brady was on steroids. It would be an outrage right now. If Tom Brady tomorrow tested positive for steroids, it, his career would basically be over. 
I mean, he would be he would be unbelievably maligned. Yet Giselle has fake boobs, and that's like ninety nine percent of her career, and it's all positive. Why the double standard? See, I'm not even kidding about this. Why the double standard? Because there's no rules that she can't. No, they want her to do that. I'm sure the Patriots, if it made Tom Brady better, they, they would feel just like you. How many nice looking women are over six feet? She's from Brazil. There's lots of them in Brazil. Yeah, well, they picked <laughs> her Remember, We've though. talked about this before. There's a region in Brazil where they find all these models that Giselle is from. What region was that again? I don't know. Yeah. It's, on my, it's on my bucket list to go to that region. <laughs> not in Texas, is it? Not in, no, not in Texas. Craig James Not on my wife's bucket list, by the way. I mentioned that. She was not in favor of that being a vacation destination.